Hello, my name is Jesus Guzman and I will be talking about the different image receptors in radiology. In the medical field, radiographers use different types of image receptors in order to create images. Image receptors such as film screen system, computed radiography, and direct digital radiography. Film screen system. Also known as analog system, the process of film starts at the developer tank to the fixer and then to the washer tank and dryer. Advantages of radiographic film is spatial resolution or resolution. Disadvantages of radiographic film is the film is sensitive to visible light, pressure, low humidity, and roughness. Here is an image of the cassette used for this system. Placed inside the middle of the cassette is a radiographic film made of plastic or polyester and a motion layer that contains elements that captures light photons using silver halide crystals. The white pads inside the cassette is the tr intensifier screen that is made up of phosphor crystals that emits light. The purpose of the intensifier screen is to reduce patient dose by converting the X-ray photons into thousands of light photons. Computed Radiography is a system that consists in a photostimulable storage phosphor imaging plate. Used in bucky or portable exams, an advantage of using digital image receptors is that the receptor is reusable. The image plate is coated with barium fluoro bromide with europium activator. Here is an image of the cassette, but instead of film, the cassette uses the PSP, photostimulable storage phosphor imaging plate. Here you can see the machine used to read and transfer the images, and the cassette is placed right here, inserted. Here is an illustration on how the latent image is produced. In figure A, the X-ray photon strikes the electron, causing the electron to jump into the middle of the lattice. That process is called metastable state. The X-ray photon is converted into light photons. In figure B, the laser beam reads the forming latent image, extracts the light photons that goes to a photomultiplier. Here is an image of the process inside the scanner. As the imaging plate is placed inside the system, the laser beam reads the latent image that is converted into a blue-violet light that goes to the photomultiplier that converts it into electrical signal to the analog digital converter that is converted to numerical values ones and zeros and goes to the computer to convert it into real images. When the process is done, the image plate goes to the high intensity light to erase the plate so it can be ready to use again. Direct digital radiography does not use cassette or film. Instead, it uses flat panel detectors such as amorphous silicon system, amorphous selenium system, charge coupled devices, and complementary metal oxide semiconductor. The advantage of using these flat panel detectors allows the acquisition of the signal to be quick and forms the images quick. Here is an image of the flat panel detector being placed inside the table. Here is one of the systems for the flat panel detector indirect acquisition that converts X-ray photons into visible light. The X-ray photon is converted into light photons by the cesium iodide that is then moved to the amorphous silicon 
converting the light photons into electrical currents. The electrical current is collected by the thin film transistor, which is sent to the detector elements that keep the electronic signals to send to the analog digital converter. Then goes to the digital analog converter to produce the image. Here is the same flat panel detector, but it is direct acquisition, which skips the cesium iodine and converts the X-ray photons straight to the electrical signal. In conclusion, each system produces images by using either film, imaging plates, or flat panels. Thank you for watching.